One stormy evening, on the seas near Hyrule, a lone ship plied its way back to friendly shores. However, the storm was too terrible! A familiar face! Oh no! After the storm, a lone girl walks on the beach. She's bright green for some reason. When suddenly, she runs. She hesitates. Is it... Is he alive? She walks over. She starts totally like, like shoving him. She's like, hey, 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 you in there? Oh my gosh. You guys, look at that egg. Look at that egg. That's right. Oh, I've been waiting to play this. It is... Wait for it. The Leg Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. Go! I love this game. We are going to play as, let's see. Uh, erase. No. Okay. Get rid of Lonk. <laughs> Get rid of Chris. Get out of here, Chris. Alright, we're going to play as <laughs> number three anyway. Um, so this is The Legend of Zelda uh, Link's Awakening. This is definitely one of my favorite. This actually might be my favorite retro um, Zelda game. I don't, I don't know. I just always really like this one. But we'll get into that in a sec. Meanwhile, I'm waking up in bed. Hello there. What a relief. I thought you'd never wake up. You were tossing and turning. But what? Zelda? No, my name's Marin. You must still be feeling a little woozy. Yeah, super woozy. Where am I? You are on Koholint Island. Time to jump out of bed. Hello, I'm closer now. Follow the lane south to reach the beach where I found you. Since you washed ashore, lots of nasty monsters have been in the area, so be careful, okay? You must be a harbinger of death. Thanks. Hello, sir. Well, Mo, you finally snapped out of it. Name's Taryn. Hope you're feeling better. What? How did I know your name? You think it's weird, eh? Well, I saw it on the back of this shield. Yes! Apparently I... Apparently I write my name on the back of my shield. You got your shield back. You can use it to flip enemies. Now, that is one really cool thing about this game. So, unlike other Zelda games, um, you know, this was a Game Boy game. So, you, well, they only had two buttons. So, they can't have a designated, like, all the time button for your sword if they want to let you use your shield. So, this is the first game where you can, like, you could put your shield as, your, as like, A. You could put it wherever you want to. I usually leave it at, at uh, B, but... I'm gonna go check your drawers. Hello. <laughs> hey, what are you doing in my chest? Where'd you learn to do a, such a thing? Well, you know, I just do these things. See you later. <laughs> Hello, chicken. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> but yeah, so I, I, I don't know. This, this game has so many cool things in it. And here's a telephone booth. Let's see what we got. Let's. Hello. Boing, boing. Hello, it's me, Ulrira. Ask me anything about the island. If you get lost, give me a call. Bye, click. Apparently he said click because that was still in uh, quotation marks. Mo, check the chest. Wow, this is a nice chest. <laughs> I, I'm just going to be wandering around doing things for right now because I, I don't know. I, I love this game. I want to I do all of it. Hello. Hey, man, when you want to save, just push all the buttons at once. Uh, don't ask me what that means. I'm just a kid. All the kids are very oppressed around here and they insist on letting you know they know their place. They are all just a kid. Let's actually follow... Let's like thought, let's go let's follow the lane. Uh there's a thwomp or not a thwomp, that's a that's a chomp. Why is there a chomp? There's also a fox. Hello, fox. I'm gonna go in here. <laughs> it's a it's a little one. Hello, little one. Makeup, jewels, dresses, I want it all! Uh, and some new accessories would be nice. Okay, so that that one wants to accessorize. Cool. Neat. Meanwhile, it's a lady. Oh, my Bow Wow is so proud of its fine fur coat. Uh, aren't those made of metal? What coat? What are you talking about? Are you wearing a coat? Hello. <laughs> no, that's just a... I feel like this is probably where the whole idea that, like, chain chomps are dogs came from. Because, I mean, nowadays, they're kind of treated like dogs for some reason. I don't really get why, but they are. Uh, but, I mean, before this, they were just kind of like metal heads that bit at you, but, uh, anyway. Well, it seems that after you save, you will start at the last door you went through. I'm not really sure why that is, because I'm just a kid. All the grown-ups constantly tell me that every single day. It's kind of rough. I heard that you can press select 
to look at the island map. But I don't understand what that be what they mean by that. Cause I'm just a kid. <laughs> What's in here? Uh, I found the library. What do we got? Fun with bombs. Sure. Why not read this book? After you put the bomb down, you can pick it up by pressing the, the button again. You can then throw it by pu pre pushing the button one more time. Did you know that? Actually, I didn't know that. I thought you had to have the uh, thing that allows you to pick up rocks to do that. Selecting the item that's right for you. Read this book? I'm, I'm going to keep reading these because they're all very short and I think their titles are funny. You can select your favorite item with... Oh, item for the A and B buttons on the subscreen. That's what I was talking about. Using different items, you can fight without a sword. Try many different things to find what's right for you. I just think that's so cool. It's like a, it's like a Zelda game where you can kind of go without the sword if you want to. The properties of warp holes. Read this book. Sure. There are some warp. Link, Link is just changing his or Mo. <laughs> it's me. I'm just changing my voice whenever I read these. There are some warp holes on Coholent Island. You can warp to and fro using these holes. If you jump into the warp hole at which you arrived, you will go to the next one in the sequence. You can only warp to a hole you have seen with your own eyes. I don't think that's true, actually, because I, th I think, like, oh, whatever, we'll see. <laughs> I feel like that's not actually the case, but whatever. Auto Map and Memo Guidebook. Okay, that one's got a boring name. No. <laughs> what are you? Secrets of the Whirling Blade. Read this book? Sure. The whirling blade technique has been handed down from generation to generation by the family of the hero. To use it, hold down the sword button and build up your power. When you have enough, you can release the button. Can you master this? Can I hold down a button and then release it? I think probably so. How to handle your shield like a pro. Read this book, sure. If you hold the button down, you can defend yourself from enemy attacks and you can fill... Philip? Philip? You, f you can fill up some <laughs> enemies too. Besides the standard shield, oh, besides the standard shield, there is also a mirrored variety which can defend against beams. So yeah, th I mean that, that's another thing. It's like you know, in in previous Zelda games, the the shield was like just omnipresent. You know, it's like if you weren't swinging your weapon, it was just always out. You just always had it out. In this one, you actually have to use it, which means that you can do different things with it. I don't know. I'm gonna gush a little bit. I love this. Atlas of Coholent Island. You can move the cursor and look up the name of a place. Do you want to look at this map? Not really. I have my own. It's the select button, I think. There we go. Yes. Um. Dark secrets and mysteries of Coholent. Do, do you really want to read it? Yes! <gasps> What's this? You, you can't read the tiny print without the aid of a magnifying glass. <laughs> That's an interesting way to hide your secrets. Moving on! Alright. Hey guys, how you doing? Keep on playing. What's this? Uh, Tail Cave, Turumbo Shores. Tail Cave? I'll check that out later. For right now, I am going to the beach because Marin said that there was... Well, she actually just told me the beach was down here and then I just kind of was like, Well, I guess that's what the game wants me to do. And she's like, what's the game? What are you talking about? Um, ugh. Uh, but you see, like, okay, so I, I can, like, push things with my shield. I can shove stuff around. It's cool. I like it. Just get used to me talking about that. So, like, here. You know, I don't have a, I don't have a sword. If I walk, I get hit. But I can use my shield like a pro. Like that book taught me. It's very important. Meanwhile. Oh. Hi there. Woo! Woo! That was more like a pigeon. Whatever. So, you are the lad who owns the sword. Now I understand why the monsters are starting to act so violently. A courageous lad has come to wake the windfish. Excuse me? It is said that you cannot leave the island unless you wake the windfish. Totally do the windfish thing, just saying. You should now go north to the mysterious forest. I will wait for you there. Woo! That still sounds like, how do you do a, how do you do a, uh, an owl noise? Woo! 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 I don't know. I, it always sounds like a pigeon. <laughs> Whatever, he's a pigeon. Get my sword! It's kind of translucent because they just used an empty slot for the, uh, the the blade. You found your sword! It must be yours because it has your name engraved on it. <laughs> I just like the idea that Link like, meticulously si like uh, mono monograms? Yeah, monograms all the stuff he gets. 
Haha! I have a sword now! So yeah, I can totally do this. I can be like, I want my sword to be on the B button. And it's totally fine. I actually prefer to have my sword on the, the, the A button, so I'm going to switch it back. But uh, I just, I don't know. I like, I like that choice. I like that you have the choice. It's cool. And now I have a sword so I can go around killing things. Like these crabs. Die crab! Um... But yeah, we're gonna we're probably gonna play through this whole game. I love it. They like I think uh You know, I I played Link's Awakening as a kid. I played the the, the first two Zeldas, uh Zelda Zelda 1 and the Adventure of Link uh as a kid, but I think maybe there was I remember I, I first got this game from a friend. Uh, he bought it for me for my birthday, I think. And maybe it was just the idea that it was like one that I had myself, you know, because I, my my sister, my sisters and I all had, you know, we all played the games when when I was a kid, um, and but this one was mine. This game was definitely mine, and so I think I played it more often. And there's a alligator. Hello. Welcome to out Sale's house, old bananas. I'm Sale. This is my house, old bananas. Actually, my hobby is collecting rare and unusual canned food. My brother is an artist, so I guess strange hobbies run in the family. I, I'm an artist. You jerk. I'm gonna shove you. Get shoved. All right, I'm leaving. Actually, I'm gonna check your check your cabinet. Mo, check the chest. Wow, this is a nice chest. You have really nice furniture. Bye. Just angrily tell him that. But yeah, so I played this one a lot as a kid. I loved it. I loved it. I loved it a lot. And I'm gonna enjoy playing it again because I've been waiting to do so. And I, I feel like... I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I, I feel like people... You know, Link to the Past was fantastic. Everyone loves Link to the Past. It's very well, very famous, blah, blah, blah. Um, but I feel like this one kind of gets... Um, at least nowadays, it gets neglected because it's between Link to the Past and Ocarina of Time, which are like titans of industry, so to speak, or titans of Zelda, so to speak. So, this one, I don't know, I feel like it doesn't get the kind of press it used to. Beware of sea urchins. Don't touch them with your bare hands. Instead, stab them with a sword. It works better. <laughs> so, I'm going to gush for a little while. It, it, it's going to happen. But, for right now, we are going to follow with that... Owl Pigeon told us, and... Oh my gosh! You've got a Guardian Acorn! It will reduce the damage you take by half! Whoa! So, in this game, they don't really have, like, uh... You know, rings or tunics or anything like that. Instead... Enemies have a chance of dropping either the Guardian Acorn, which is what I have now, or the, um... The Piece of Power. Now, I always prefer the Piece of Power because it's much more interesting to... It's much much more interesting, yeah, that's right, to look at in terms of the visual effect. Like this one, you it, it plays different music, but that's pretty much all you get. And you take, I mean, you take less damage, but you can't really see it. The piece of power is super cool, but I'll get that eventually. For right, but when you, when you have one, you can't get the other. So I'm stuck with this until I take sufficient damage and it goes away. But for right now, I'm checking out that tail cave because, um, look, it's like Moldorms. It's like, there's. I thought these were scorpions as a kid because I didn't recognize that they were supposed to be like Moldorms, like the thing from the Tower of Hera. Huh? A keyhole here? It says Tail Keyhole, which is incorrect because this place is actually the Tail Cave. So there is a tail of a keyhole right there. Oh, I thought, I thought, I thought my owl, owl pit friend showed up. Oh, well. I, was, I actually went down there partially to show you guys, but also partially because I thought there was a scene when I did so. But it didn't happen. Hmm. Hmm, 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 Now, one thing I am going to have to do for this series, because it's going to be probably kind of long, is, uh, you know, usually when I, I try to end my episodes at what I think of as logical end points. But for this one, I'm going to probably try and have to keep it to a specific length, which I'm going to try 15 minutes. So we're coming up on it. I'm going to do a few more things in town, and then we'll call this an episode. Uh, I'm sorry, miss. I did not mean to... Yahoo! I'm fine, and you? Uh, I see you were unaffected by my attacking you with a sword. Thank you. Uh, oh, he hello, old... <laughs> Look at his nose. He's got, like, a huge nose. Eh. Hmm. How to say. Please, please call. Outside. Hmm. Seems that old man over here is a shy guy in person. What happens if I call your phone? Boring, boring, boring! Click. 
Yes! It's the Bucket Mouse! Thanks for calling! Well... <laughs> you must have dialed a wrong number. Who the heck is the Bucket Mouse and why is he on speed dial? Wait, did we stop speed dial? Oh, well, whatever. <laughs> this was 1990-whatever, it's okay. I can talk about speed dial. <laughs> Alright, what else we got in town? So, there's, there's another oppressed child. Um, let's check out the shop. Oh, it's a it's a game. What's this? Trendy game. One play, ten RS. Play now. Yeah, sure. You sorry, kid. You don't have the rupees. <laughs> sorry, Link. I can't give credit. Come back when you're a bit mm, richer. <laughs> I was actually just watching that earlier today, so it's stuck in my head. Um, let's see. Uh, I'm gonna destroy all of these. I mastered it. I mastered the whirling blade thing. What's my prize? <laughs> what do I get? I did the thing. Let's see. I think there's actually something in here that I want. But I don't remember where- There it is! You found a secret seashell. If you collect a lot of these, something good is bound to happen. And it is. I, I want lots of them. <laughs> it's, it's very important. I'll go let the friendly people who took me in let me- Uh, hmm. Well, I was gonna tell them that, uh, I found my stuff, but no such luck. Uh, oh, there's there's the girl. Hello, Marin. Hi. Taryn went to the forest to look for toadstools, but I'd rather sing. Listen to this. It's called the Ballad of the Windfish. Da da da. I love this song. This this fox also loves this song. It seems to be totally absorbed in Marin's song. What is this? Here sleeps the flying rooster. Well, that's relevant to me, I guess, but... It... Okay, so I remember when I... When I saw this as a kid, I didn't know what I was looking at, because uh, what it's supposed to be... You can see that kind of, like, white square in the middle there? That's its eye. Um, the kind of thing going up there is its, its comb. The thing going down there... That's its beak. Uh, and then it's it's basically a weather vane. I, I didn't get that as a kid. The way I saw it, I thought it was a giant fish. So imagine the comb and the beak as like lips of a fish open super wide. And the thing on the back is a tail, like spinning. <laughs> Just, I couldn't see a rooster at all when I saw this as a kid. Anyway, I'm going to continue to puzzle over this. Uh, if we're gonna we're gonna play like I said, we're gonna be playing Link's Awakening for a while. I hope y'all enjoy it. This is one of my this is one of my favorite games of the Game Boy. I'm the Moy Chicken, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for stopping by.